Uh, Phil, the uh, upcoming tournament's obviously expected to be sort of the most popular yet in women's football. Um, just how pleased are you to be a part of that and why do you think that's been the case? Well, I think I think it will be probably the biggest Women's World Cup of all time. It has to be. You look at the, the, the media coverage now that the, the players are getting and the media coverage of every game means that the game is going from strength to strength. There's a real popularity now growing. Uh, I, I think it's fantastic. I think when, you, when, you, when you're seeing games sold out, you know, England's three games in the World Cup group stage is sold out. I mean, that's never been done before. You know, so so when people think is this just a one-off, it, it, it's not just a one-off. I think I think there's a real boom. I think the it's it's on the crisp of something really special, and I think this will just be the start. I don't think after the World Cup everyone will stop watching uh, women's football. I think now we're on a we're on a we're in a period for women's football that could be golden, and uh, it, it's the reason that I got involved. I've got to say, 12, 12 15 months ago when when I agreed to become the manager. Uh, I'd say the bit that I thought was is that this could be something really special. The way that women's sport, the way that women's football was being backed and promoted and the investment that was beginning to be put in place, I thought well, this is the right time now and, and it's proven the case. I think it, it's, it's fantastic and, and to, see, to see the humility of my players when they keep seeing things getting better, sell out crowd at Walsall, sell out crowd at the two, to the two last games we had in England, you know, that their excitement is, is phenomenal and, and it, it, it makes me feel really proud to be involved. Yeah, and slightly away from that, obviously you've got, uh, you've got Lucy Bronze, a talented mm. right back. Uh, she's played in the centre midfield a couple of times. Mm. Is, do you see that as where she's going to play in the World Cup? Uh, she, she could play anywhere, to be honest with you. I think uh, we, 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 we've played Lucy in midfield, uh, she'll play it right back. Uh, and she'll play midfield again. Look, she's the type that she's she has so much influence on the team that wherever you put her, she can have influence. She's for me, and I've said it. I'll say it again. She's one of the best players in the world, and uh, she has so much influence. And there's so many, so many teams that fear playing against her, whether it's at right back or in centre midfield. So uh, we will play her wherever it suits best, wherever it gives the team the best advantage to win, and where it gives Lucy the best advantage to go and play the best football that she can play. And finally, can I just ask? Uh how big do you think the chances of your team in the World Cup are? Well, I think we've I think we've got as good a chance as the probably the other five top six teams in the world. We we are third best team in the world on paper at this moment in time. So that doesn't make us favourites. That means that we've got to do something that we've never ever done before. We've qualified and finished third at the last World Cup, which took absolutely everything that we've got. And to do that again and beat that again, we'll have to give absolutely double what we give at the last World Cup. Because you know what, the teams in the last World Cup have all improved just like we have. And, and we, we, we've got a goal there and make sure that we treat every single minute uh, with, with intensity and with concentration and uh, more important, we've got to enjoy it and play our football.